moves. It's very, very cool looking. Right. It, it, it seems to have a similar idea. Maybe not the same function because you can attack under it. Right. And you can jump over a little bit more easily. And that's one of his custom variation moves. So if right. you want to make a defensive, heavily playstyle one, you can. Other than uh, that move, I think he has a lot of he actually has, has a lot of zoning moves in this. He has multiple different projectiles he can use. He's very, very different. And I think he's very cool. I've always liked Sub Zero, and I, I love playing him in this game. I feel like I've rarely been interested in him, but I, I really like some of the changes in him. More of a projectile character. It's cool. So Tweety, of course, going back to the Baraka. It makes a lot of sense. He did really, really well. Uh huh. Now this is a this. Oh, that was because was she going for a throw? She was going for either a jab or a throw. Okay, right. so that because that was a an uppercut to beat a high attack. Yep, you get the you crushing, got the crushing blow. blow. And usually with an uppercut, you just get a knockdown. Off the crushing blow, you get a full combo. So you know, I said earlier that combos aren't as extensive as they used to be. Using that crushing blow, you're actually gonna get like 40, even up to 50 percent if you use the crushing blow. Wow. Okay. But once per game, so you got to really make it count. Tried to get the second one. I think maybe if he hadn't enhanced that, he might have been able to recover in time, but took and the Sonic risk. going for the restand. And so far, we haven't seen a lot of zoning. They're just going ham. They're just going in. Yeah, even Tweety hasn't really been zoning. He hasn't had that many chances. We'll this see if corner that comes of the up. stage actually has two different interactables. Oh, there. wake up forward roll. How about that? Okay, so as an escape, not just a defensive sort of moving backwards tool, but to get out right, of the to corner. Get out of the corner, right. Yeah, I think the wake up roll is very, very strong. And as you were saying before, that's invincible to hits, but can be grabbed. It can be grabbed, yes. And that includes command grabs. Like, Baraka's command grab okay. actually beats it, and that is the crushing glow required. Okay. Yeah, these guys are, like, on each other like glue. Like, they're the opposite of zoning. Right. Okay, yeah, there's the wake up. Getting a little juggle out of it. Fatal Blow's ready. Sonic Fox mentioned he thought that... Oh, okay! That's it. that's it. Wow. As an anti-air juggle from across the screen, all that damage. That is crazy. So much damage. The Sonic mentioned that crushing, or uh, sorry, Fatal Blow doesn't have armor. That that, is that's what he said. Correct. It's, okay. it's that the armor doesn't start up immediately. Okay. You have to wait a little bit. But he is right that they're very, very fast. The, the end two attacks that lead to a Fatal Blow are very, very strong. You can see it looks like Tweety's trying to find some ways to back up, get back, start the zoning again. Right. It's been hard for him. Oh, good preemptive jump attack. That's Injustice Fundamentals right there. And I love that Barack has the classic MK2 drop kick. Yeah. That's exactly that Randy Orton, Bob Holly drop kick. But jump attacks do work a little bit differently. For example, neutral jump punches don't launch in the way that they've done in the last couple of games. Yes, they now are the same. Scorpion actually has a variation move he can equip that gives him the old school like volleyball bounce thing if he wants. Oh, it didn't kill. Oh, yeah, so good Sonic knew it. Sonic, Sonic knew yeah, it. Very good block from Sonic. Really could have used the flawless block, I guess. Because <laughs> he's now, caught in the corner. Greedy can actually wall run off that dirty Woo! mattress. Nope, he's not going to have to. I like it. Rolls away. Man, this is relentless right now. Sonic Fox is making everything happen. Okay, yep. Didn't expect okay. a second hit. Oh, it's just the kick, though, so no bigger combo out of it. Now we see the zoning. Now Tweety isn't doing exactly what he wanted to do, and yeah. Sonic's going to be in a lot of trouble. So For sure. Her range isn't the best, so she's going to have to either do her projectile back or kind of inch her way in. Well, Luckily, here we go. she's got a knockdown. Out of there. Very smart of Tweety. Again, Injustice Fundamentals there, using that wall run to get out of dodge. Chip! No! Oh, oh, he tried to go it's in! I said it an hour ago, no one has ever punished Chop Chop ever in 30 years. Well, you can keep it up. It's tricky. It is. You you see, everyone says, oh, Chop Chop's it's a bad, you just punish it, it's bad, and then no one does. Oh, wow. Wow. Great scoop. That Baraka back forward two move is so quick. It's punishable, but that scoop is very, very fast. That's mm -hmm. kind of like his MK9 blade charge, but significantly better. Man, that jump kick has really been causing Sonic Fox problems. You see him trying to anti-air it a couple of times. They've both failed. Oh, wow. Excellent whip punish from Sonic. He goes for the restand and goes for another mix-up. Both are in Fatal Blow. Here he's can scramble. Tried it, but again, because it was blocked, he still has it again. Yes, he Just... will have it on a cool... You'll see when it comes out, and that's nope. it. Never that mind. Back. Not that it matters, but Sonic's going to be up 2-0. Very close games, though.
Tweety's holding his own. Oh yeah. I think Tweety needs to call in air support and get Starfire in here. Yeah, even though that projectile is a mid, the way that Sonic Fox moves through it is so practiced seemingly. You know, it's like he's already had experience there. What's scaring me right now is Sonic doesn't have his paws and he's still OD. <laughs> like this isn't even his full form. He literally doesn't have his hands and he's still beating people. And they're both going all in again. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if anybody really knows what is advantaged or not right now, right? That four two, that, or, sorry, that four four, that Sonya D move is definitely one of her better mids. It's so fast, and it's it's awesome to see Sonic. That said, punish. Yeah, already has figured out some, you know, some of her great close range moves, even with just this limited amount of time. Yeah. Wow, look at this. This is a clinic right now by then Sonic Fox. Finishes Fox. it off. He, oh my God, look at that. No look at that. This is, I mean, it's reminding me of the you know, last time a Mortal Kombat game came out and Sonic knew the game instantly, I mean, yeah, right? Right, like the way he's using back one is, is, is just exactly what you want to do with her. Like, he basically figured out Sonya's fundamentals in, in like four minutes. Right. He's He just thinks so fast. We'll see though, Tweety has made these games competitive, so. Yeah, he's not getting, or hasn't been getting smoked, although you might say this game's oh, a smoke. Excellent roll. Sonic's gonna reverse and Tweety's in a ton of trouble here. Yeah, Let's that roll was comeback. okay, but okay, here he goes. Got him. Now Sonic might be in Fatal Blow territory himself right now, or it's gonna be very close. Very, not, very close. Not quite, but still, if he finds the right hit, it's over. And, and he it. did, and Sonic Fox ends up taking it in a sweet 3 to 0. I think Sonic just let Tweety know, look, bud, this is MK. And when it comes to Mortal Kombat, I am the champ. I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed seeing the different styles that we saw among the characters. We saw that it was a 